What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to do a quick video, so I mic'd myself up, and I wanted to showcase something that will help preserve your mannequin heads because a lot of you guys are asking me questions about what mannequins I use, and I use pivot point mannequins. Now the thing with that is, they're not the cheapest mannequin you can buy. So you want to keep it around as long as you can, especially if you don't have a big budget for mannequins. So today's exercise is actually going to focus more on the combing and sectioning part of a haircut than it is the actual cutting part. So we're not going to do a haircut today, but this is an exercise I want you guys to really work on, especially if you're in school or you're assisting or you're just trying to better yourself as a haircutter being more consistent. So to me, the first tip and the most important thing is your comb. Um, I'm not saying that you need to buy this comb, but what I'm saying is you want to have a comb that has not only looser teeth, but also tighter teeth. That's going to help with tension. Tension plays a really key role in the outcome of a haircut. This comb right here, this is a YS Park comb. This is a 339. It's pretty much my go-to comb because of the fact that it's a shorter comb, it's super strong, and it's got this um, tooth kind of taken out of it. So when you're sectioning the hair, you get a nice clean section. It's easier to run the comb through. If you notice, sometimes when you go to section hair and it gets bundled up. That's just because if you think about uh, combing hair with a regular comb real quick or combing with a detangling comb, you get through it with the detangling comb a lot easier because the teeth are wider. So this little tooth removed from here allows you to section and get a nice clean parting. The next thing is I like to have a nice sleek clip. So this is the YS Park clip. It's the reason I use it because it's nice and sleek. They have other ones as well. They have cheaper ones. The thing I like about these, they last a long time. They stay nice and strong. So I don't really have to reinvest in clips until I lose them really. So these two pair really well. Honestly, I wish there was a different option because these are a little bit pricier, but at the same time, they're really nice. This is your career, so the investment makes sense to me. Okay, so now to get into my sectioning technique, Basically what I did was I sectioned off the mannequin and I'm gonna create a, a completely different video that focuses on that. But today what I really just wanna focus on is sectioning uh, and combing. So uh, what I wanna do is I left this one panel out in the back, sectioned everything else away. I split it straight down center back so I just have this panel right here. Now, anytime that you're cutting um, a bob or anything like that, you wanna really follow the jawline. Today I wanna to mimic cutting a bob because that's what people struggle the most with and I really, we can use that jawline as a guideline. So me personally, even though I know I'm not gonna cut hair today, I'm gonna to keep the scissor in my hand because the relationship between your comb and your scissor is really important. So the first thing I did when I was in beauty school was I would sit on the couch literally when I wasn't at school and I would practice a comb movement just like this and then I would take the scissor and I'd flip it out and I'd pretend to cut. Then I'd flip it back in, catch it, put the comb in my hand and then practice combing again without hair at all. Just watching TV, combing, cutting, put it back in my hand, comb, right? So this was the exercise that I would do and I would do it with whatever comb I could find, whatever scissors I could find, even if they were house cutting scissors, paper cutting scissors, because it doesn't matter, you're just working on this movement. And the more natural this movement becomes, the easier it is to not think about that part of it when you're cutting hair. Okay, so the way that you're gonna preserve your mannequin head is to not cut it, right? That'll be the first thing. I wouldn't cut this thing for the first couple weeks because of the fact that there's so much work you can do on just combing alone. I would do this multiple reps. We go over and over again with this section and just work our way up through the head, right? So you don't actually have to cut the hair, just imagine yourself cutting the hair. So the way that I like to part and section hair is to comb it in the direction in which I'm going to be parting it, right? That was kind of the biggest thing that I learned uh, first off when I was cutting hair is that if I get this hair kind of flowing in that direction, then when I go in and I take my parting, I follow the jawline here, I go in, I look, I assess it, and then I take my parting. Now, I'll take a look at it and I wanna see, does that line mimic the jawline because that's the line that I wanna cut. I wanna follow that. That doesn't mean that every time you wanna do that, but for this haircut or this technique that we're doing today, that's the way that we want to section the hair. So my comb goes, the tooth of my comb goes with the flow of the hair. I take out my parted section and then I clip away the rest. And the way that I'm gonna clip away the rest is I'm gonna take my clip and I'm gonna shove it up underneath just like this, keeping the hair in that flow because then after I make this first cut, so I mimic holding it in my fingers and then I take 
the scissor out of my hand and I cut over top, pretending to cut the hair and then I let it go, right? And then that is practice, but not actually cutting the mannequin. So you're not wasting the mannequin hair right away, but you're still working on cutting a bob. Then I take down my next section and this is just practicing along. So now I wanna go parallel to that parting. So I flip, I got my wide tooth right here and I just follow parallel about a half an inch across and I work on getting a nice clean line, combing this hair over and sectioning it away. Then I could take half of that hair, just pretend like I'm working with a traveling guide um, and I bring the hair into my hand, pretend to cut and let it go. Now I know that this technique might seem a little bit boring to you guys, but I'm telling you right now that the most important thing that you can learn, especially in school or as an assistant coming out into the salon is how to comb and how to part hair. You learn how to do that and you're gonna be way ahead of most people because most people didn't take the time to learn to do this. Their sections are sloppy. Remember that sloppy sections most of the time end in a sloppy result. So I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you guys like this video. Please go out and do this and practice it, especially if you're sitting in between clients and you got nothing to do. Make sure that you're focusing on bettering yourself behind the chair. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also follow us on everything else social at free salon education and go sign up for FSE on demand we have hundreds of education videos just for you on there for free and also let me know did you guys like the style of this video I can do more of these these are actually easier than the other ones so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you have any questions let me know thanks for watching